new videos every day. Okay. This is Athena Jezik and we're going to just continue with lymph today and I'm, I'm going to do a, a lymphatic drainage on the face and we start where we start. We always start lymphatic work here. Skin stretching inward. Come around the corner. And then we come up the neck chain, the front neck chain. And rinsing it. Whenever I use the term rinse, it's coming back down. After you've opened it, then you just go back down and push a little bit more fluid. And then the back nodes. This is a good therapy to use with children who have uh, a lot of ear infections, a lot of stuffiness. They're not always really happy about having the work done at first because there's somebody on their face, but after they begin to feel how good they feel, they calm down quite a bit. And they even, many of them, when they start to get congested or their ears hurt, they request of their parents to come and see me because they, little children, really do know what, what feels good and what makes them work. So fortunately, they don't have the imprinting that they need to go and medicate right away or take something for it that compromises their immune system. They're kind of naturally in the flow of realizing, well, if I feel better, then that's what I should do. So as adults, it's important to begin to push our paradigm a little wider, begin to see what's really out there. What I just did was go up the chin. There's a chain along the chin, along the jawline. I went up to the top of the chin and then I'm rinsing it back down. And then there's a triangular shape here that drains downward. I also want to say that I do appreciate a lot of the emails that I've been getting. And I want to just re remind everybody there, uh, the website, the email is corehealing at hush.com. It's sent to the e Earthlink account. It may be lost. And I'm just picking up the nasal bones here. This is a cranial technique, but it does open up a lot. And then going back down the nose. Lymphatic work is very, very, very relaxing. It's silent water. what Dr. Chigley calls it, silent water. Rinsing back down. Wow. 
water wheel is under the ear. That always feels kind of full. Especially if people have allergies, but allergies are oftentimes just very weak immune systems. Doing lymphatic work helps to enhance the immune system. A lot of the immune cells like to hang out in the nodes. It's a good place to wait, like a spider in his web, for something to come by. But when they get, when the nodes in the lymph system isn't moving well, then the immune system is very compromised. Another reason why I feel that lymphatic work is so important, especially if you're not feeling well, because above anything else, we need a strong immune system. Without that, we really are not going to be well. To get a good immune system also requires to look at dietary things and what we're putting into ourselves by way of toxins. And please understand that much of the food out there is very toxic. It'll taste good and it'll be addicting, but it's a chemical taste and a chemical addiction. So be mindful, start to maybe if you want to make changes in your health, that is something that is paramount to look at. You can't build and reorganize tissues and cells and function without the proper nutrients that they need to build with. It'd be like trying to build a brick house and forget the bricks. whole part of the face drains side midline downward from that triangle and then along the ears and just back down the neck and rinse it all out and then I go back and map um, I'm not going to explain mapping. It's a way of feeling where things are flowing and it's very obvious when you know what you're looking for. And everything is flowing in the proper direction with a pretty good current. So, okay, that is a lymphatic face piece. This is Athena Jezik. Thank you.